The biggest bass these days are being caught on the west coast on monster swim baits. Jimmy Liao from Fish Code Studios. Today, we're gonna to talk about the science behind these realistic looking slabs of plastic. Big bass have learned to pluck off these hapless hatchery trout released into the clear lakes of California. Raised in a fish farm, these salmonid suckers pack a protein punch and don't have the muscle tone, let alone the wits, to outmaneuver a bass with a home court advantage. These trout are attractive to all bass, not just the big ones. Now here's a one pounder chasing down a five inch trout in low light conditions. Notice that the bass can overtake the trout from the tail, just with its body speed and suction capabilities. The body of the trout is so flexible, so it just folds into the bass's mouth. The fate of the trout is sealed. Here's a three pounder, just crushing this swim bait. Real trout can change their body flexibility by contracting their muscles, which are arranged serially in blocks down the body. This body undulation causes the water around it to curl up into swirling eddies. How do we see these fish footprints? Now, if we only had like a racetrack for a fish or like a treadmill, and then maybe something we could put in the water so we could like see the flow, that would be cool. Well, we do have it. Science! I use a technique called digital particle image velocimetry to measure the shape of the water behind the swimming fish. Now, without getting deeper into the hydrodynamics, this is similar, but not identical, to the wake that your swim bait makes. And that's what the bass feels with its lateral line. Now, it's the shape and flexibility of the bait, not just the overall length, that determines the generation of strong fish footprints. So the next time you're out there hucking a chunk of plastic, looking for your monster bass, Think back to these videos and think Fish Footprints. I'm Jimmy Liao from Fish Code Studios. If you like what you saw, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time.